Hey guys, it's Derek. Um, right now I'm going to be going over, and going over measuring daylight. Um, this will actually help do a key factor in knowing how much time you have before the sun sets. Um, one of the biggest things you can do besides using a watch or a clock or any sort of time. Say you don't have any of that on you like I don't right now. I don't have a watch or anything like that. Um, the biggest thing to do is actually use the sunlight. Today it's kind of hard to do that because it is cloudy out. Um, but usually when you have the sun out on a clear day, you can actually measure how much daylight you have left. Um, one of the biggest things is actually using your hand. Um, I'm sure some of you are asking, well, how do I do that and, you know, know how much time I have left? Well, I'll actually explain that a little bit. Um, the biggest thing is actually you want to use your hand like this. Each finger represents about 15 minutes left of daylight. And what you want to do is take your hand like this, use each finger, so each, you know, that'll represent about an hour of daylight. Um, and what you can do is actually stack it just to see how many minutes or hours, per se, of daylight you have left. Um, that way what you want to do is actually look at the horizon like that. I'm actually going to be a little, you know, use something a little more difficult. Um, as you can see, it's not a completely straight line. So, I mean, it, you won't be able to get too much of an accurate, um, reading with it. But you can get a rough idea of how long you'll have. Uh, especially with a range like that, it's a lot of hills and stuff. So it could vary by a few minutes. Um, what you want to do is actually take your hand and, you know, put it right on the horizon like I have here. And that will tell you how many minutes you have left. Minutes to hours, depending on um, how high the sun is and stuff like that. And like I said, for every finger there is, represents about 15 minutes. So say you have two hands plus another two fingers, that'll leave you about two and a half hours worth of daylight. Um, depending on if you have a flat surface, like um, a straight line of sight, um, nothing like these ranges or anything, but something more flat line, um, that'll, that'll actually help with more of a set time course where with what you're seeing it can vary depending on time of year um it could vary quite a bit um especially with the sun's location and stuff like that it could be going behind a mountain range so that'll actually give you less time um or i mean depending on where the sun is setting and give you more time but say you're somewhere in the plains no matter what it'll be roughly around the same time unless it's in a different season where the sun sets sooner or later um, also, that's also the course of the sun's path at, due to the Earth's rotation. Um, that could also vary the amount of time you have during the day. Anywhere from 6 hours during the day to just over 12 hours total for daylight. But using your fingers will actually map out how much time you have left to do what you got to do. Say you have 3 hours left of daylight. Yeah, that will put you in a little bit of a time crunch, and it'll actually help um, figure out what you need to do first and foremost to how much time, like what the time consumption is on what you're doing. Say you're building a shelter, that might take an hour. So you want to do it to where you have at least three hours of daylight left. So that way, all right, you measure the daylight. All right, say you have about three, three and a half hours. You know, use your fingers to measure that out. And then you can actually plot a course on what you're going to do, which, all right, you want to use that daylight to build your shelter. And then, all right, you get that done with about, within about an hour, depending on what shelter you use. Um, the quickest one would be the tarp shelter. Or, you know, say you got to get water or fire going. You know, you'll have a little bit of time left to actually get that going. So that way you'll be able to see what you're doing. 
um but the biggest thing is making sure you have enough time to do what you have to and be sure to get it done with enough daylight left so that way you're able to see and hunker down with what you need um i will be hitting on a few other areas so i'll keep you guys posted hope you guys stay tuned click like subscribe and check out a facebook page it's the survivalist hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy